What's up guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Micah and today we're going to take a look at the Mossberg Patriot Rifle. We're going to kind of go through all the facts and features, everything that this gun has to offer. Just kind of a full review here. I'm going to tell you why I chose to purchase this rifle, why I think you should purchase this rifle, and then we'll kind of go over what it's generally good for. So without further ado, let's jump right in guys. And before we get too far along, I'm definitely gonna show you that the gun is totally unloaded and safe. That is our magazine, no bullets in there. Pop back our bolt. You can see that there is no cartridges in the chamber. Safety is first, guys, that's extremely important and we always need to be on top of that. So Mossberg first made this rifle in 2015 and it came about because Mossberg had a bunch of requests from just average people, hunters, enthusiasts, target shooters, and all these people came together and asked Mossberg to make a rifle that was very ergonomic, very budget friendly, very easy to clean, very easy to maintain, and very easy to shoot and be accurate with. So Mossberg listened to all those requests and they came out with the Mossberg Patriot here recently. So this gun is offered in I think 11 or 12, I think it's 12 different chamberings. So no matter what bullet you wanna shoot, you could get a Mossberg Patriot that is chambered in that round most likely. This one that we have here in front of us is going to be in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I'm not really going to say that I think 6.5 Creedmoor is the best round you can get this rifle chambered in. It depends what you want to do with it. You know, there's a bullet out there for every different application. Some are better than others at certain things, but every cartridge typically has its place and what it's good for. For what I wanted to do, the 6.5 Creedmoor round made a bunch of sense to me. So that is the gun that we have here in front of us. But a lot of these specs will apply to every single different chambering that this rifle is offered in. So as you can see here, we do have a Vortex scope on this. I did buy this rifle that was comboed with the scope. I have seen these Patriots offered without the scope. You know, it typically saves you about $100 if you don't want the scoped package. Uh, it comes with a three, uh, three to nine by 40 Vortex scope is what they're putting on the combo. And you know, these Vortex scopes are really good. Um, if you don't know anything about them, go look them up. You know, they have a good reputation. Vortex totally puts their name on this. If anything happens to it, send it to them. You'll get a new one. Uh, so it's really good. The company just has great customer service and really backs all of their products. So I was happy to see a combo with a Vortex scope. So I jumped on that right away. I will say that the scope on this, just going out to a nine times zoom, you know, if you really wanted to shoot things at 800, 900, 1,000 yards, you'd probably want a better scope. But really for anything under, oh, we'll say 500 yards, um, this should be fine for. And all of my shooting's probably going to be around the three to 400 yards, maybe 500 or 600 if I need to, depending on what I see. And I'm sure there's somebody out there who can definitely use this exact scope and put bullets on the target at a thousand yards. Awesome, dude. Keep up the good work. Post a video and link it in the comments. I am not that good of a shooter, I guess, and, or maybe my eyesight is not that good. For anything under 500 yards, this should be perfectly fine for the average person. I will say that this scope does have a few marks on the reticle, so you know, no matter what bullet you're shooting, you can kind of use those dashes and marks uh, for your bullet drop, you know, if you were shooting something that's quite a, quite a ways out there. So the sight, you know, I have no problems with it. The scope, um, it seems to work very well for my application for just basic uses. It does kind of have this split rail here, sometimes on like the Ruger uh, American Predators, I think they're called, you know, they might have a full Picatinny rail here. This is enough for any of your scopes and simple add-ons. Uh, so I have no complaints there, you know. This gun is going to be around, I paid $440 for mine. 
Now I've heard of these combos being as cheap as $350 and then as much as about $490. But somewhere in there you should be able to pick up one of these and then I think it might vary a little bit depending on the chambering you get. But for this combo with the 6.5 Creedmoor, $440 is what I paid out the door. I think that was with tax too. So definitely on the budget end of hunting rifles, you know, you're not gonna break the bank on this one. If you put a nice scope on this rifle, your scope might cost more than the gun. But this gun is extremely accurate for what it is. It's rated and reviewed very well. The MOA is right where you want it to be. It's competitive with a lot of other rifles that cost twice, three times, four times as much. If you don't believe me, just Google that and that will prove that for you. So just kind of walking around the gun here for different features. So obviously you don't get any steel sights. Um, anything like that out of the gate, even if you get the version that doesn't have the scope. I haven't seen any with steel sights. Um, and for what you're getting this rifle for, most likely it's longer distance shooting than say inside 100 yards. So your steel sights aren't really gonna be super helpful for a rifle kind of made for more hunting, longer range. So I have no problem with the no steel sights. Obviously it came with the scope and the scope is all I use and it's probably all you will ever use if you buy this gun. The barrel, the last nine or 10 inches of the barrel is gonna be fluted. So that kind of adds a nice visual touch to the gun and it's supposed to have practicality as well in that it will let the barrel cool faster because there's more surface area with it being fluted. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to notice in a bolt action gun. It's not like you're gonna dump a mag of 30 cartridges through it in 15 seconds. You know, you're shooting pretty slow paced with this. You're really just going for range and accuracy. So I don't really know that the fluting will ever help but it does look nice. And then, you know, you can read facts that say uh, a one pound fluted barrel, two pound fluted barrel is going to be more rigid than a two pound non-fluted barrel, which makes sense if you think of the physics of it. But nice touch there might have a little practicality to it. So I have seen a few different trims for this rifle. Um, we just have the black synthetic polymer stock on this one, but you can get that with wood. I think you can even get this with a stainless barrel instead of the black. There's a few different options out there and then a lot of them are offered in almost all their chamberings. So you can really kind of pick and customize this gun, uh, buy whatever suits your fancy. I don't know if you will get quite the good price point if you do go with a wooden stock and with some of these other features on it. But if you just go with the black synthetic stock, uh, black barrel, you should be right around that $400, $450 mark as far as a price tag. So, and the stock feels good in your hands, you know. Uh, the gun doesn't feel too light, it doesn't feel too heavy. I think this gun weighs just over six pounds, so it's pretty reasonable, six and a half pounds. It's pretty reasonable for what it is. Um, I think obviously the scope will add a little bit of weight to that, so it could be closer to seven, but really happy with the weight of this gun. Um, overall, it feels really balanced. You know, I feel like you do have a, a really great product in your hands here for the money that you pay for this. It does have some texturing on the front where your hand might go there. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more aggressive, but you could always do things to um, add some texture to this. Uh, it does have the same kind of textured pattern on the grip back there. Uh, yeah, maybe could go for a little bit more texture. It's never slipped out of my hand and I've never thought that I was gonna drop the gun or anything like that because of it. Uh, I did do a lot of shooting last winter with this and sometimes when it's snowy and icy and cold out, yeah, I might go for a little bit more aggressive grip, but no complaints at the end of the day. I haven't changed it. It's not a big enough deal that I would. So our magazine from the factory is just going to be a plastic magazine. Um, you know, it's always functioned good for me. Of course, I do like to see metal magazines, 
but uh, this plastic one seems to work just fine. It holds five shells in the 6.5 Creedmoor chambering, but uh, some of the other chamberings might hold more. I cannot confirm. Like I said, there's so many different chamberings for this gun. It's really kind of a fiasco to look up the specs for all the different ones, but should be able to get five cartridges in any of the different chamberings. And then of course you could have one in the chamber as well. So then that puts you at six shells is what you can kind of walk around with. The total barrel length uh, on this is 22 inches. So it's kind of right on par with all the other hunting rifles you'll see. Sometimes you'll see a 20 inch barrel or a 24 inch barrel, uh, but this 22 inch barrel seems to do really good. Uh, this gun is extremely accurate for what it is. And then I think shooting the 6.5 Creedmoor round, the 6.5 Creedmoor is an exceptionally accurate round for what it is. So that definitely helps with your accuracy, but I've seen reviews and read on lots of forums that guys just, whether this is in, you know, 270, 308, 30-06, uh, all these different chamberings, everybody says pretty much unanimously that this gun is really accurate for what it is. So love the 22 inch barrel, wouldn't change anything there. I think total length of this rifle is going to be 42 and a half inches in this chambering at least. Could vary a half inch or so, chambering to chambering, I uh, cannot confirm, but roughly around 42 inches is gonna be our overall length here. The release for that magazine is just on the bottom right by it, uh, very easy to find, has a great positive feel to it. The safety on this gun is just gonna be right on the right hand side there. It kinda has a little red dot so you know if it's on fire or not. You cannot put the safety on if the bolt is not cocked. So I cannot take it off of fire right now. If I cock the gun, then suddenly I can put it on safety. So just something you should know. Uh, not every rifle is like that. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, with it being a bolt action, there's such a significant amount of work or a noteworthy amount of work that you'd have to do to get a round loaded in the chamber that I don't mind if it's just sitting on fire when there's nothing in the chamber. Let's talk about the trigger here for a second. So this trigger is an Accu trigger. So it does have a trigger safety on it here and that trigger safety needs to be depressed for the gun to shoot. If it's not depressed, I cannot press on the outside of the trigger to depress it. So it does have that trigger safety that needs to be pushed down for the gun to be able to fire. Another thing about the trigger is that it is adjustable. Um, so if you don't like the weight of your trigger from the factory, you know, from the factory, I've felt a few different ones that seem to vary. So I don't know if they're doing a set, you know, three pounds, two pounds, whatever it may be from the factory. Mine right now is sitting at about two pounds, two and a quarter pounds. I can still be fairly accurate with that pull. You can definitely stiffen this up if you'd like, and you can soften it up if you'd like. So I've heard of guys getting down to about a one pound trigger pull. If you want that, you know, if you're doing very long range shooting, just that extremely soft soft trigger pull is going to let you just keep your gun dead straight and you will be spot on your target when you press the trigger. Kind of a firmer trigger pull might make you be not as accurate. Your gun might jerk, you might kind of be surprised then by the shot. Um, so a lighter trigger pull is typically going to make you more accurate. It's totally adjustable. And how you do that is there is just a couple bolts here and that is going to release your barrel, your bolt, everything. It's going to pull right out of here. And then on this trigger is going to be just one uh, screw, one bolt there. And with a flathead screwdriver, you can just turn that bolt and clockwise is going to make it a stronger trigger pull. Counterclockwise is going to make it a softer trigger pull. So literally with one, uh, it's an Allen head wrench, you can undo those two bolts. And then once this is out, you can adjust your trigger with a screwdriver. Extremely easy guys. And I'm very happy that you can adjust your trigger brake, uh, your trigger pull on this. So very cool that Mossberg did that. As far as the back of this gun, it has, I mean this 
thing is this is like the lazy way of stock pads. I mean, this thing is super soft. Uh, which is really nice, you know, especially if you got this in a chambering like 308 or 30-06, something that's gonna have more recoil. Man, this is a great little stock pad to see from the factory. I love it. It's definitely the softest stock pad that I have on any of my guns. So very cool there. And then as far as ergonomics, as kind of features and the molding and shape of this whole stock, Mossberg really put some thought into this. I mean, the shape of everything is so cleverly thought out. It feels so good in your hand, just from the angle of the handle relative to the gun. Uh, there's these little cutouts here that your bottom of your palm just goes right into when you grab the gun. I mean, it feels so natural. You get kind of a nice cheek pad here that's molded up, and it's just when the gun is down against your face, man, it feels so good. One of the best ergonomics on a rifle around this price point I've ever seen. And even of rifles that are far higher than this price point, far more expensive, you know, this has the ergonomics to compete with all of them. Uh, and Mossberg took a lot of pride in making this gun and it just really shows with kind of every different thing that they did here. You can see, we talked about the fluting on our barrel. There is a little fluting on the bolt as well. Whereas on the barrel, you can really feel those ridges. You can't feel it too much on the bolt. Um, it's just kind of almost there for looks. It is very nice to look at, I will say that. Probably has a little bit of practicality to it, uh, just like we talked about with the fluting on the barrel. But to release your bolt, I will show you how to do that. So up on the left side is gonna be that little tab right there. To press that is going to release your bolt. So we can flip up our bolt here, pull it back, and then we will push that little tab right there, and that will release our bolt. It's totally out. Um, I told you how to take the barrel and the receiver, everything out of the gun with those two bolts. So you can really pull this gun apart extremely easy, guys. So as far as maintenance or checking things out, switching parts out, it's just so easy. It's such a user-friendly gun. It's awesome. And just like that, we're back. So now, as far as what this gun was made for, what it's good for, you know, it was made just for you and I. Uh, Mossberg was just listening to what us buyers, us consumers, wanted out of a bolt action rifle, and they made exactly what we told them. Uh, so there's not too much you can gripe about on this. It was literally made by us, made by experts, made by enthusiasts, and they just listen to every comment and concern that anybody said and they made a gun that just is so practical and so easy and so fun. So it is designed as a hunting rifle. Of course you could go out and do your target shooting and just have some fun with it. Um, and there's so many different chamberings in it. You know, depending on what you were trying to shoot, what you were trying to do with it, you could get this same rifle with just so many different applications depending on the caliber it's chambered in. I think a lot of people get this rifle just as a hunting rifle, something that does have good range. Typically, I see this gun sold a lot um, with 243 Winchester chamberings, 6.5 Creedmoor uh, chamberings, and then 308. Uh, I can't say for sure that those are their most popular chamberings, but that's typically what I see always on the shelf and always flying off the shelf. So I did get this in the 6.5 Creedmoor because I wanted some good range. I wanted a good bullet. You know, I'm not out shooting grizzly bears and elk, so I don't really need just a, a huge bullet with a ton of knockdown force. 
uh, even though the 6.5 Creedmoor does have excellent ballistics. Look into it, guys, and we will do a video on why I think the 6.5 Creedmoor is a great round. But yeah, as far as just a hunting rifle that has good accuracy out to a good range, I think this is it. And then depending on the chambering you get, you could really have an accurate hunting rifle for long range. Um, there is definitely guys who are shooting targets at 1200 yards with these. They do have different sights, you know, but as far as just the rest of the gun, I have seen the stock forms of this Mossberg Patriot just, you know, competing with precision sniper rifles. So it is very good for what it is. So for the price and for what this is, this is an excellent gun for the money. Um, you have plenty of different options with the stocks, with colors, with the chambering of it. It is just absolutely bulletproof. It is so reliable. It's so simple. It's so easy. You know, this is going to be a great gun for a lot of people. So I would definitely recommend this gun, guys. I was a little bit leery going into it. I thought that maybe I should go a different route for a bolt action and get the Ruger Predator um, or a few different offerings out there, whatever they may be, some Savages, some Remingtons, and I just couldn't be more happy with this gun. You know, I do have a few friends with some of these those other guns and makes that I had listed here, and you know, this one absolutely competes with all of them. It is not behind by even a uh, hair. So just an exceptional gun, guys, exceptional value when you get it with the scope. I mean, I feel like it's just a steal for what it is. So definitely go out, put one in your hand, see how it feels. As soon as you pick it up, kind of go through all the motions on it. I mean, you're going to see that this gun is just made well. It's made to last. It's made to be easy and trouble free. And so if you're looking for a gun that you can just go out and shoot and always count on, this is it guys, Mossberg Patriot. So leave a comment if you guys have any questions at all, or if you think 6.5 Creedmoor is a dog shit round, I'd love to hear it all. So like the video if it helped you out, subscribe if you guys want to see more, and until next time, have a great day guys. So and then right off the bat, I will say that this gun is for boys only. Why can't I say that? So to everybody who says that 6.5 Creedmoor is not for big game, all I have to say is, where are the dinosaurs? And then with the rifle scope combination, you know, I can hit a pop can at five miles. So just an excellent long, okay, maybe it wasn't like five miles, but so on, I do have this little shell holder here. It holds 10 bullets, so that should be enough for about 11 deer. And then from the factory, I will say it is fully automatic. I'm trying to sell it right now, and you're ruining it, okay? You're ruining it. So I'll take you where you want.